Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the YouTube video and in today's video we're gonna have a look at the brand new striker pass, the brand new striker called Kinda, and also the brand new assault rifle called the MCX. But before we hop into the video, I want to give a big big thank you to Razer. Whether you are a mobile gamer or PC gamer, Razer has got you covered. They've got tons of accessories for mobile gamers such as thumb sleeves, handheld controllers for phones, coolers for your phones and iPad, and so much more. Oh, and also they have Razer Gold, which you can actually use to top up golden bloodstrike super super nice razer was kind enough to send me their latest keyboard the huntsman v3 pro and let me tell you guys that this is unlike any keyboard that i've ever tried no cap the new razer huntsman v3 is literally one of the fastest keyboards in the world with the rapid trigger mode and the snap tap mode so you will see this keyboard pop up when we are going to be testing out the new striker and the new weapon let's go all right here we go we're gonna have a look at the brand new striker pass let's go so this striker pass is called the Immortal Hunter Pass. Now we're going to have a look at what is exactly in this pass. So as you can see, level one, you get some noble coins for free, which is always nice. Second reward that we get if you buy the battle pass is the MP155 jungle skin. Now we're going to have a closer look at this. And as you guys can see, there is a nice glowy effect on the skin. It looks absolutely amazing. We have some kind of like scars going on, with the, which look a little bit bloody. Kind of gore, but like I like it. I'm here for it because we are, of course, in the jungle. We are trying to survive. Very, very cool. Let's see what the upgradable details are. So this is the kill broadcast. And then we also have the muzzle fire. Okay, that looks very, very clean. Up next, we have the camo. So the camo is a pink purple vibe for this battle pass. It looks very, very nice. So as you progress in the battle pass, you will unlock this camo for every weapon that you have. Up next, we also have some trial cards. Now, for the people that don't know what trial cards are, these are basically cards that you can use to unlock all of the attachments for one specific gun. So you can try and level it up without you know struggling too much we also have some reputation points some xp cards as usual we have some stickers we're gonna scroll through this battle pass we have a nacho skin which is an epic skin so this skin is called ocean blue it looks very very nice we have some kind of iridescent blue going on and a nice necklace this is an epic skin so it's not gonna look as cool as legendary skins or ultra skins but regardless it's a nice skin to have and uh, i'm sure some people that like simplicity can appreciate the skin all right we are gonna move on we're scrolling through the battle pass once again we have some more stickers going on and over here level 14 we have kinda the new striker so let's have a look at what she looks like so this is kinda she has nice goggles she has some accessories she has a nice crop top with a cape on top of that that looks very very cool i really like the design of this i don't know how they come up with that but it looks very very cool we can see that she also has some paintings on her legs i wouldn't really call these tattoos i'm pretty sure they are called paintings and then we also have some nice socks with some boots and as you can see there's different color scheme going on with the left boot and the right boot now i saw a very very interesting comment on my video from this morning someone actually said they said kinda is from africa but they didn't specify where she's from and honestly i kind of agree with that comment because i feel like in bloodstrike especially we should be able to relate more to characters and you know distinguish them more from each other so adding that kind of like nationality or where the characters are from would definitely be very very cool and it would pretty much boost their character as to who they are what they've been through what they mean in this game and the reason why i'm bringing this up is because in a lot of other games they do the same thing when you look at apex you can see that every character has a very very expanded lore you know every character has a story behind them and in valorant they also have that same thing where asians actually are from specific countries and depending on which country they are from they actually have voice lines which is really really cool cypher from valorant for example says Baslema when he kills someone which means goodbye and i think that is something really really cool and if they would add something similar to this in Bloodstrike, honestly, I would be all down for it. It makes me relate to characters more, and it makes me just like them more in general. All right, up next, we have an avatar, which looks something like this. We have an ornament, a little skateboard, which looks very, very dope. We're going to scroll through. On level 20, you will unlock the MCX gun. And this is the first time that we are actually seeing a 3D model like this. So as you guys can see, it is an assault rifle. And there's also a little green stripe on the iron side. So I'm not sure if the iron side is actually changed this time around. I think it is actually. But we will have a look at that in the shooting range. We also have an epic skin for Hank. This, this skin is called Hank Carmen. 
Uh, now, again, this is an epic skin, so it's not as spectacular as legendary or ultra skins, but it is still nice. I'm sure someone will be happy with it. We have some more rewards as you progress through the battle pass. We also have a sticker over here that we haven't seen yet. And then we also have a lot of noble coins. On level 30, we actually unlock the legendary Kinda jungle skin. Now, this skin looks absolutely amazing. The goggles, the face painting, the accessories, the jacket that she has with the yellow accents. I think this looks really, really cool. Honestly, this is an insta-cop for me. I think she looks really, really good. And honestly, this morning when I saw Kinda for the first time, I thought to myself, damn, bro, she looks like someone I know. And then I figured out who she looks like. She actually kind of looks like Rihanna. And then I saw someone in the comment section saying the same thing. So, yeah, she is definitely giving me some Rihanna vibes. Not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. We're gonna have another avatar. We're gonna have some more stickers, which looks very, very nice. And then... Also, we have the legendary MCX Hellhound skin. So this is a brand new skin for the new weapon. It is legendary tier and it looks absolutely amazing. As you guys can see, it is an animated skin. It has a lot of glow effects. And on the top of the gun over here, you can see kind of like a hound uh, drawing, I guess. And then out of the eye, there is a nice glow coming out of it. So let's see what this actually looks like. The upgradable details over here, we have a kill broadcast, of course. And then we also have muzzle fire, which looks very, very nice. So if you would like to upgrade that, you can. Uh, I really think this skin looks very, very nice. Let's see how that looks with camos. Yeah, that looks very, very dope. Honestly, that's a cop. Oh, man, look at the gold one. <gasps> Bro, I need that. Honestly. <laughs> All right, we have more stickers. We have another ornament. This is kind of like a skeleton ornament, I guess. You can see, you know, it is in the jungle. We are in the jungle. We're in the wild. Uh, we have more stickers coming up. More free rewards. And, of course, last but not least, it's the cherry on top of the cake. It is the Ultra VSS skin. Let's have a look at this baby because I think it will be insane. Guys, remember that this is not a legendary skin. This is an ultra skin. So this skin looks absolutely insane. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like we have bones. We have some ties up here. You can see some teeth. This looks absolutely sick. We have like blue glows up here. We also have a special scope for this skin because it is an ultra skin so this is a scope that you can only get if you unlock this skin now let's have a look at what the upgradable details are so we have a kill broadcast which looks really freaking insane i don't know if you guys saw that let's do that again holy then we have muzzle fire which looks very nice tracer ammo that looks sick as well and then the level five we have a hit effect very very cool all right dude i'm not gonna lie to you guys this skin goes very very hard like mm, ultra vss skin in the battle pass by the way you have to buy the premium battle pass to unlock this because with the regular battle pass you will not unlock the ultra vss skin that is just a heads up just putting it out there because i see people asking me that question all the time for the ultra skin you will have to buy the premium battle pass and then we also have these boxes like we usually get so let's see what is in these boxes so we have an ornament, we have sticker, we have an avatar, uh, which looks very interesting. What is that text on the avatar? Is that some kind of like content creator? I don't know. Uh, it could be, it could be something else. If anyone knows what this means, let me know in the comments down below. And then of course we have the camo chest that we always get in the battle pass as well. So this is a nice kind of like yellow, pink vibe, kind of like... Um, Oh man, what is that cocktail called? Sun, uh, tequila Sunrise. Yes, bro. This is Tequila Sunrise <laughs> cocktail. Anyway, uh, that looks very, very cool. Now we're going to hop into the shooting range to test out the new striker, kinda, and also the MCX assault rifle. Let's go. All right, we, I, I just unlocked kinda. All right, so for the people that want to try out kinda and you don't have it in the battle pass yet, don't worry. You can go into the shooting range to actually try her out. So. You know, in case you're wondering or if you want to really test it out when it comes out, don't worry, you can for free. Just go into the shooting range, like me. So, let's do an emote. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, man, she looks so good, man. Oh, let's go. All right, so let's see what the Q ability does. Oh, interesting. Okay. So... Okay, so I press Q and then I press my left click and then it instantly charges. So, you know, when you're aiming this, you gotta be fast. 
Actually, it's it seems to be like um. It seems to be a fixed time actually. So you know, I just press Q once like this, and boom, it will hit them and it will reveal them. Okay, so what does my V do? Oh, that's the wreck and arrow. Okay. Oh, dude, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so actually the range is not that big, as you guys can see. I thought the range was going to be much, much bigger than that. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought it was actually going to be more OP than that. Because, you know, wreck and arrows can be OP in certain games, especially in shooter games. You know, you have to be careful to not overpower it too much. Okay, let's do that again. It feels a bit awkward aiming this thing because, like, it just releases, like, pop. You know, like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> not going to lie. All right, so that's not too bad. Okay, so now we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to go into uh, to our trial loadout. And we're going to use the um, the MCX. Now, let's see at the, let's see what it's like as a base gun. Oh, man, they did change the iron inside. That is super nice to see. Okay, guys, I have no attachments on this gun, okay? There, there's almost no recoil on it. <laughs> what is that, bro? Decent damage. 31 headshot damage. 18. Dude, the fire rate is insane. Oh, man. This gun is going to be crazy meta, guys. You know what? It feels really, really good. Not going to lie to you guys. Holy poop. I'm actually excited. Okay, let's try hip fire. Not bad. Honestly, guys, the fire rate is super high. This is me testing out the gun without attachments. So let's see what would happen if I actually put some attachments on it. All right. So I've put some attachments on it, as you guys can see. Uh, we're going to reload our gun. So we have 60 bullets in our magazine now. Very, very nice. Oh, man. This gun feels good. E even without the attachments, it feels good. But, like, with the attachments, like, there's literally no recoil on it. I'm not lying to you guys. Like, I, I am not. Like, I swear. Like, let me let me do a, a test, a recoil test. One wall to wall over here. Okay. I'm not trying to recoil. I'm not trying to recoil control it. But as you guys can see, it just goes upwards and to the left. So basically, we have to go downwards and slightly to the right. But like, basically, just downwards already is like enough, pretty much. Like, there's actually no recoil on this gun, guys. This will be probably the most newbie-friendly assault rifle in the game. You know what? This actually almost feels like an SMG, and that makes sense because this MCX assault rifle is originally based off of an MCX SMG. Anyway, I'm going to be grinding out this gun when it comes to the European servers, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. I will be sharing you guys my loadout that I will be using, but for that, you'll have to stay tuned for the next video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button, guys, because we are getting so close to 10k subscribers. We can do it, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned, hit that notification bell because, you know, you'll need it. I'll be uploading a lot of videos in the upcoming days. And I assure you, you don't want to miss anything. All right, take care, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.